years ago when I produced my CD, Stand Firm Gibraltarians, and I researched the history of all our anthems. Um, and it came to light that Llévame Donde Nací, contrary to some popular belief, and it's a, a subject which is hotly debated and contested by some, was not actually written for the evacuees during World War II. It was written in the early 1930s by Pepe Roman, a Gibraltarian composer guitarist. And he, he wrote that inspired by the hardships that Gibraltarians who had left in the early 30s for America in, in search of uh, jobs and, and a future um, found that the streets in New York were not paved with gold and became anxious and depressed and all yearned their return to the rock. Hence, Llévame Donde Nací, because in the last verse it very clearly says America is a very large place and there's lots to see, but not like the sights from the top of my rock, broadly translated. So I believe in that version, that it is the early 1930s, but then it was subsequently adopted during World War II as the, the mass evacuation took place and after years of hardship in London, Jamaica, and Madeira, etc., and, and Northern Ireland. The song Llévame a Donde Nací, the first time I heard it was in a big concert pulled together by all the evacuees, all the different hotels where they were staying. They, they made the BBC, I think it was the BBC, um, organized a concert of all the evacuees. And from there, we could uh, speak um, to Gibraltar. Um, we could speak to our to our fathers more than anything, grandfathers, uncles. And I remember I took my brother by the hand, cued with him, and gave him something to say in English, because he didn't know Spanish. And we spoke, sending messages to our dad that day. And that was the, the first time I heard Llévame a donde nací. And that song for me represents a lot. Llévame donde nací, que a tu lado quiero estar. No hay un sitio para mí como mi buen Gibraltar. Llévame donde nací, I have it from, from very good resources, from relatives of uh, the author Pepe Román, the late Pepe Román, and uh, he wrote that referring to the people who, who left for, for the Americas, for South America, to Argentina, to, to, to New York, to, to, to name a few places in America. And uh, it was the people that were, were trying to find a new life for themselves, to, to make things better for themselves. And uh, when they were away from their little rock of Gibraltar, a lot of people started missing it. A lot of people realized everything was not painted in gold when they left. and. Uh, they went through hardships, and then a lot of people were well, dying to get back to Gibraltar. Somehow they all wanted to come back. They, they couldn't be away because it wasn't good for them, and uh, they wanted to be back in their old little rock. And this gentleman, Pepe Roman, he decided to put pen to paper, and he wrote this song, and always referring to the, also referring to the people who, who went to the Americas. That's why it says, Aunque America is muy grande and it has a lot to see, I want to go back to my Peñoncito because that's where I want to be. Seventy years later, that song uh, helped me a lot when I was ill. I was all the time in the hospital singing the Llévame donde nací, que a tu lado quiero estar. And the nurses said, why do you sing the same song every day and every time? And I said, because it means a lot to me. We used to sing it during the war and we went back to Gibraltar. And here, though this is not a war, for me it's just as bad because I'm ill, I sing it because it helps me to remember my hometown of Gibraltar and maybe it will help me 
Go back. Aunque América es muy grande y tiene mucho que ver, yo quiero a mi peñoncito, aquel que me dio a mí el ser. That in itself is, is a lovely, lovely verse there. I want my, I, I, I love my, my little homeland because that's where I was born. And um, it's, it's very touching. It's, it's, I sing it at casements and I still get a lot of people, elderly people coming to me and says, don't you ever think of not appearing there in casements because we're all waiting to listen to that. You make me cry when you sing that. I still get a lot of elderly people telling me that. Solo donde vi la luz. The lyrics to the song, I got to know um, that came about uh, one of the dances, the many dances I played with, with Horizon. And I, if, if I remember correctly, it was at the community center, Catholic community center, some years ago. And uh, we were playing this dance and we went into Llevame Donde Nací. And uh, still at the time, I didn't know fully the, 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 the lyrics, the full lyrics to it. We started singing the, the first verse, which is what normally or most people know. But then we went into la 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 la, you know, and and, uh, and Mr. Albert Basel was there with his family, um, one of our ex uh, footballers of uh, the 40s and the 50s. And uh, he came to me and said, uh, would you like me to write the, the proper lyrics to to Llevame Donde Nací? So when you do it, you can all sing it properly and uh, give us the, the proper lyrics. So I said, yes, I would be very happy to have them, yeah. And not too, too long after that, I saw him in the street and he had the uh, piece of paper for me, and which I then passed to, to our lyric books. And uh, from then on, it, it just sank in my head and in most people's heads when, whenever they heard it. And, and especially the, the older generation, they, they, most of them know it, you know. And uh, that's how it came about. And that's... Uh, uh, it, it's somewhere in, 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 my, in my heart, somewhere there. It's always there. That, that song is always there. Yeah. La línea y el campamento Argentina y mucho más Pepe Román, uh, if I may add, was also a very, very good musician, very accomplished uh, musician. And uh, he had a group also with guitars and uh, mandolins and all these things in those years. Uh, Similar to what they call the, the Estudiantinas, I suppose. Well, I've been told that he also uh, taught partly, uh, or started him off, uh, uh, the, the well-known uh, Mr. Victor Bacheri, the late Victor Bacheri, who, had the, who, who formed the Gibraltar band in Gibraltar. And also, I would like to add that uh, the, the actual tempo of, of, of the song, Llevame Donde Nací, was in three fours, which means uh, it was a tempo for for waltzes. In those in those years, a lot of uh, waltzes were were played, uh, tangos, uh, foxtrots, swings, and that. And uh, and the llevame donde la si was was more into into waltz timing. Pepe Roman, I believe, himself never went to America and whilst his song became a rallying cry for Gibraltarians during and since, um, it became his epitaph in the sense that he ironically died in Jamaica, not even in Gibraltar, but no doubt he will always be remembered. Not too long ago I, he I heard rumours from, from people here, there, and, and everywhere in Gibraltar, in quite a number of places. And they were, they were all going on about uh, why hasn't anything been done in the, in, in the sense of repatriating his remains to, to Gibraltar, and maybe have a, uh, have a proper plaque somewhere in the, in the cemetery to remember him by. When we reach a certain age, we remember hometown more than anything else and the people you love, you want to be with them. And where else? But in Gibraltar. But it is your hometown, that's why the song sits, says, que a tu lado quiero estar. And that means a lot to me. Llévame donde nací 
que a tu lado quiero estar no hay un sitio para mí como mi buen Gibraltar solo donde vi la luz tengo puesta mi ilusión llévame quiero morir junto a aquel para mí gran la línea y el campamento Argentina y mucho más Lo domina por su altura El Peñón de Gibraltar Aunque América es muy grande Y tiene mucho que ver yo quiero a mi peñoncito, aquel que me dio a mi el ser. Llévame donde nací, que a tu lado quiero estar. No hay un sitio para mí, como mi buen Gibraltar. Solo donde vi la luz Tengo puesta mi ilusión Llévame, quiero morir junto a aquel para 